All right, Shalom, Wam, Shalom, Wam, to the elect of the nation of Israel. Before I get started, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak Wadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honors my fellow I can push the word and true faith and sincerity across the four corners, Shalom, Wam. Peace and blessings to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the men and doctrine of Great Millstone. This is the brother Yadav from Jimmy's Land Church coming with another lesson through the Spirit, and it's uh, entitled, Our Salvation Draweth Nigh. Um, of course, 2020, the year of prophecy has been moving extremely quickly. And, um, also, of course, no man, uh, know if the hour, the exact time or hour or, you know, moment when Yahweh Shemal Shai will send our Lord and our Messiah, Yahweh Shai, back to, uh, save the remnant of Israel. But at the same time, as quickly as things are moving, it's very ev evident that our salvation is uh, is nearer than when we first believed, man. So um, I'm going to be reading from the book of Isaiah, the 59th chapter, and also Psalms, 22nd chapter. And the Lord willing, you edify through the spirit, power, and mercy of Yahweh, Shai. So this is Isaiah 59, verse 1. Behold... The Lord, Yahweh, hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his, ear, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. See, so with this, of course, we have to um, internalize and understand that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, uh, can deliver us from any situation, man. Okay. And also, um, you know, even as heavy and, um, you know, burdensome it can be. To go through certain things in our lives, uh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is so powerful and so mighty that He can even hear us in the midst of, you know, everything that we go through, man. Okay, verse two. But your iniquities have separated between you and your power, and your sins have hid His face from you that He will not hear. See, so when it comes to why, you know, it may seem as if we're not being heard. Of the heavenly father, how Bashim Yahweh Shai, it's it's a uh, it could be an accumulation of certain things. One thing being our iniquities, man, and being our disobedience um, to not only the law, statutes, and commandments, but also the Holy Spirit. And I say not only the law, statutes, and commandments, because of course we know that ultimately we will not be saved by perfect obedience because of these chains of darkness, because of the flesh. There is a level of um, mercy and grace that will be granted to those who will be saved and be delivered because like i said the only well like i said like i'm going to say because of these because of the flesh because of the chains of darkness that we that our spirits are are, are uh, uh encapsulated in you know we we it's impossible for us to live perfectly according to the law especially with us being um in the society run by Edom Esau, the so-called white race, we can't um, live perfectly according to the law, you know? And the only uh, person to come in the flesh that was able to accomplish that feat was our Lord, Yahweh Shai, okay? Uh, verse three, for your hands are defiled with blood and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies, your tongue have muttered perverseness. So pretty much we've all done things that, are worthy of death, man. You know, we've all done things that are worthy of death, you know? And, you know, it may not necessarily have been putting someone to death, you know, or you may not have done the, the you know, the, the the grandest type of um, iniquity or trespass against your how by Shem Yahweh Shai. But we've all done something that in the eyes of the Heavenly Father and according to the law, statutes, and commandments and the Holy Spirit, we've all done things that was like, man, have been worthy of uh, harsh judgments, man. You know, that's just what it is, man, you know? And we have to accept that because that's, um, accepting that is a critical step in being um, contrite and also being um, just openly honest, brutally honest that we have a lot that we owe to the Heavenly Father, how Yahweh Shai through the Spirit because He has granted us enough mercy Okay, to for us to even just have a chance of salvation, man. Okay, uh, Isaiah 59 and 4. 
None calleth for justice, nor any pleadeth for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. Now, here's a separation, okay? Because Isaiah 59 and 4, none calleth for justice, nor any pleadeth for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. Now, does this particular precept apply to us? Meaning us being those who are going to the highways and byways, who are doing these daily lessons, who are, you know, building through the spirit, who are sacrificing your time, energy, and resources to um, grow in the spirit. No, no, it doesn't because we're actually doing particular things that, um, you know, ultimately are building us up through the spirit and showing you how by Shai that we want to be different, man. You know, we want to pursue that path of, you know, the straight gate and, you know, be holy and separate to the masses of this world. And also with a, uh, uh, separate from the two thirds of our own people, man. Okay. So with that, that's when I'm going to jump to Psalms 22 to prove this point. This is Psalms 22. I'm going to start at verse 22. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. And see, this is what we do, man. You know, this is what we do. And this is why, you know, humbly, you know, we understand that if we continue on this path, we should have an expectation of salvation, man. You know, when I say that humbly, you know, but we have to also, in the same way that we we trust and believe in uh you know, the evil or the bad, you know, or the harsh um, uh, prophecies that come to pass. We have to also believe in the the, the graceful, the merciful, you know, the um, the uplifting, the comforting prophecies that come to pass. And, and also, I want to reiterate, we believe and we uh, we believe in salvation and we we hope for and expect salvation as long as we continue to do what we're doing. You know, that's a that's a. a um a requirement that must be met in order to um, acquire the salvation, ultimate salvation by from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, but th the, these type of things that we're doing, including what I'm reading to in the book of Psalms is ultimately will, will lead those uh, written in the book of life, you know, to be saved, you know, through the midst of, of everything that uh, will come upon the earth and everything that will come upon the land of America, man. Okay. Uh, Psalms 22 and 23. Ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, praise him. All ye the seed of Jacob, glorify him and fear him. All ye the seed of Israel. See, so if you fear the, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the scriptures tell us to praise him, man. Okay. And another precept proving that this is for a, a select group of people. All ye the seed of Jacob. Okay. Going into Israel, glorify him. And fear him, all ye, once again, the seed of Israel, man. Okay, so this is not for everybody. Everybody doesn't have a, a, an opportunity and a chance to actually do what we're doing, man. Okay, verse 24. For he have not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, neither have he hid his face from them. But when he cried unto them, but, but when he cried unto them, he heard. See, so going into, sometimes it feels like, the Heavenly Father isn't hearing us, but he's actually hearing us, man, you know, but there's a caveat to that, meaning you can't be just no completely wicked um, individual, man, okay, you have to be trying your best, like I said, follow the law, statute, law statutes and commandments to the best of your ability, but also to follow the Holy Spirit, man, okay, um, verse 25, my praise shall be of thee in the great congregation, I will pay my vows before them that fear him. See, so this is how we are getting right with the Heavenly Father, man. This is how we're getting in those good graces, man. With our praise, with our work, with our labors, with our mind, our spirit, our bodies, you know. All these things are accumulating to show a, a good tab and a good rapport that we should expect salvation, man. To the point that we should expect salvation, you know. And if we have to be made physical martyrs for the truth's sake, so be it, okay? But even that, even with that comes what? The 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 ability to defeat death, man, okay? Oh, death, where is thy sting, all right? Continuing on, the meek shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that seek him, 
your heart, your heart shall live forever. You know, once again, the rewards, man. Okay. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord, Yahweh, Shai, and all the kindreds of the nation shall worship before thee. And this is speaking to Israel. Okay. But at the same time, all nations, okay, even those who are, uh, uh, or those who are not Israelites are also going to uh, understand that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the true and proper name of our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai being the true and proper name of our Lord and our Messiah, that those are the ultimate powers of, of all men, okay? Continuing on, for the kingdom is the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's, and he is the governor among the nations, meaning he, the Heavenly Father, rules everything, okay? All they that be fat upon earth shall eat and worship. All they that go down to the dust shall bow before him, and none can keep alive his own soul. So, once again, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has complete dominion of everything, okay? And there's going to be a certain level of, uh, um, conf it, there's a certain level of, I'm not going to say confusion, but I mean, yes, confusion, but a certain level of understanding that we're low, man. Okay. Even with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai giving us and uh, allowing us to access certain, you know, secrets and, and certain mysteries through the Holy Spirit, when you, com when you compare it to the, uh, the total just knowledge and wisdom of how about Shem Yahweh Shai? You can't even begin to compare, man. Okay. Uh, verse 30 A seed shall serve him, it shall be accounted to the Lord for a generation. See, so this is the remnant, man. Okay. When we speak about the rebuilding of uh, the tabernacle of David, okay, this speaks towards a certain remnant, okay, that is uh, uh, being rebuilt and being rededicated, so to speak, to the Heavenly Father. Okay, through that remnant and through that seed line of Israel, man. Okay, uh, verse finishing out verse 31. They shall come and shall declare his righteousness unto a people that shall be born that he have done this. See, and everything that we do, okay, is all through the spirit, man. Okay, and that's why it's just important, you know, brother's been speaking about continuing to pray, continue to, to, to uh, stay focused, stay locked in, you know, continue to, uh, you know, watch videos, continue to build yourself up. And certain things, you know, and certainly worldly affairs, man, okay, because it's all connected, because it's all being done through the grace and mercy of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the Holy Spirit, and th uh, uh, through uh, prophecy, man, okay, so I'm going to go back and finish out in the book of Isaiah. So this is Isaiah 59, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to go up and reiterate that point isaiah 59 and 4 none call it for justice nor any pleaded for truth they trust in vanity and speak lies they cannot see conceive they conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity and see that's why i said this particular precept doesn't apply to us as long as we continue to do the things that we've been doing man okay and ultimately this is what's going to separate us lord when we are of that uh uh uh, uh elected election okay uh to be saved it's going to uh separate us from the two-thirds man okay is by not doing uh those mischievous acts but finishing out isaiah 59 and 19 so shall they fear the name of the lord yahweh shai from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the lord yahweh shai shall lift up a standard against them okay and the west being the western hemisphere or the rising of the sun coming from the east Okay, through the proclamation of the names Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and uh, um, the bringing forth of an understanding of biblical prophecy, not only will the world begin to uh, um, give the proper due respect and glory to our powers Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, they're also going to to fear our powers Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, even when they're speaking of coming in like a flood, you know, pursuing the Revelation twelve and twelve. You know, the enemy, enemy know you have but a short time, man, coming down with great wrath, man. You know, but through us doing these things that are, are contrary to the world, okay, to, to this society, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to lift up that standard, okay, and uh, 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 protect uh, his elect, man. Lord willing, we're counting that number. Set up a spiritual hedge, man, okay? 
Continuing on, Isaiah 59 and 20. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion and, and unto them that turn from transgression into in Jacob, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shai. And the Redeemer is Yahweh Shai, man, our Lord, our Savior, you know? Verse 21. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. You see, so Yahweh Shai is bound by his word, man. He's a man of his word. He's a, a, a power of integrity. My spirit that is upon thee and my words, which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed seed, saith the Lord, from henceforth and forever. So, amen. You know, that's why we have to continue doing this work, man. Okay. Because by us doing this work, According to the covenant that Yahweh Shai is making with us by us doing this work, not only will it, um, in essence, guarantee, as long as we continue, guarantee um, that Yahweh Shai will stand and fight for us. And like I said, just opening up the lesson, speaking about how sometimes it feels like you are not being hurt, you know. But like I said, there's reasons that um, attribute to that the main Main reason, as it was written earlier in this chapter, is our iniquity, okay? But by our obedience and by us uh, taking heed to the Spirit, we are reestablishing our connection with the Heavenly Father, how by Shemel Shai, that will not only um, live and continue in us, but it's going to live and continue through our seed, man, okay? So, of course, Lord willing, you were edified. Once again, before I close out, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakwadash, double honors to my apostles and my elders of great millstone who will lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honors by follow I can push in the word and true faith and sincerity across the four corners. Until next time, Shalom.